At the outer edge of our solar system, a NASA spacecraft speeds towards Pluto for the first close-up views ever of this mysterious dwarf planet and its five moons. NASA's New Horizons spacecraft is scheduled to reach the pinnacle of its three-billion-mile, nine-year-long journey on Tuesday, when it sweeps within just 7,800 miles of Pluto's surface. The $720 million mission was launched in 2006 to complete the reconnaissance of the planets in our solar system. At that time, the distant icy orb was considered as the ninth planet and the one the furthest away from Earth. Since then, astronomers reclassified Pluto as a dwarf planet, and now astronomers think it is the archetype of thousands of small worlds and comets in a vast region beyond Neptune called the Kuiper Belt. Pluto has remained much of a mystery since it was discovered in 1930. Astronomers believe that this once-in-a-lifetime flyby will unlock Pluto's many secrets. We know only a few things about Pluto that the flyby will really tell us much more. For instance, Pluto, we believe, has an atmosphere. So what's in the atmosphere? What is it made of? And how can an object so small, you know, Pluto's about the size of the United States, have and hold an atmosphere? This is a really great mystery that we just are going to find out about when we fly by it. Scientists have other questions as well. For instance, does Pluto have more moons beyond the five already discovered? Does it have rings like Saturn? Preliminary images snapped by New Horizons in recent weeks have brought Pluto into sharper focus, and they've revealed new mysteries too. Scientists are now wondering, are there craters on Pluto? And what causes the color variations discovered on the surface of the dwarf planet? When New Horizons makes its closest encounter with Pluto on July 14th, it will be incommunicado, flying on autopilot through the dwarf planet's system and making a set of pre-programmed observations. It will be more than 13 hours until scientists will know whether the spacecraft has survived that part of its journey when it starts sending the gathered data back to Earth. And that is like calling home. And that will be wonderful. That will actually occur at 9.02 on the night of the 14th. So um, uh, we're all on pins and needles until that ping arrives. That tells us that the spacecraft made it through the Pluto system and it's got all the gold on board. It's got all the fabulous data. If all goes well, NASA hopes to show the world the first close-up of Pluto in all its glory in the following days. Thank you.